Women of Reddit, what are some signs that you're not interested in a guy that is sometimes unnoticed or misinterpreted? If we are having a conversation and you lean in pretty close and I start to back up, it usually means I'm not feeling it. I've had a guy unknowingly chase me around the room because every time he got too close I shuffled back a little bit, but he kept getting closer. It was pretty amusing. Sometimes guys think that I'm interested in them, but fail to notice that I'm at work. So sometimes my being at work in a customer service role is misinterpreted by them, the customer, as interest in them. You can easily avoid this misstep by noticing that I'm at work in a customer service posture that includes smiling and being friendly, and that you are my customer. I might even like you, or, at least, not hate you, but I'm definitely not interested. I call it side talking. Seriously, if a girl is faced away from you, her body is turned away from you, or she talks to you sideways in a situation where she could easily be facing you but isn't, she doesn't want to talk to you. Shy people do this because they don't want to be straightforward so as not to offend you, they just hope you take the hint. I do this both to dudes and girls that I don't want to talk to. If you're constantly talking about doing something or going somewhere as a thinly veiled hint towards a date and I keep mentioning how much fun that would be with a group of people, I'm not into you. I'm trying to tell you I don't want to spend time alone with you was out last night for a bachelorette party. Not the kind where we are loud and drunk and looking to mingle. We reserved a table in the back of the bar for privacy and were clearly having close conversations and playing games and enjoying one another's company. These two big, as in physically intimidating, guys come up to the table clearly trying to flirt and introduce themselves to us. No big deal at first, not like we put up a do not disturb sign, so we politely tell them. We are just out celebrating something tonight, and smile and then turn back to our game. And then that shit happens that always happens, they keep talking, desperate to extend what they think is a conversation, even when we have gone so far as to turn our backs to them and go back to our conversation. We just keep saying, no, thank you, we are in the middle of something right now, and avoiding eye contact and turning away. Why do these assholes have to make it awkward? We weren't rude or mean. But we weren't subtle either, all they had to do was say, oh, well enjoy your celebration, and have a nice night. That's not even embarrassing for them, it's not like we personally shot them, and only them down. But no, eventually we had to say, go away, we don't want to talk to you, and we don't want to meet you, leave us alone, and being rude killed the mood, so we left the bar entirely, colon open bracket. I smile like crazy when I'm really uncomfortable and want to leave. I'll do it till my whole face hurts. I don't expect it to be interpreted as disinterest. I'm just trying to pacify the person until I can get out of there. It's not a great strategy. I basically won't engage in any real conversation. I keep my answers short and honestly, I'm probably more focused on something else and hoping they'll go away. But I have flat out said no before, and that seems to work most of the time. I just hate rejecting someone, even though it's obviously better to be upfront and not string someone along, no matter how obvious you think your signs of disinterest are. If I'm having an involved conversation with someone else, that means don't come over, interrupt, and start trying to score. I was at a bar with a group of friends yesterday, and twice a strange man just ambled over, plopped himself in the midst of us all, and tried to chat up one of the girls in the group. What logic is this? These people look pretty bored with their ongoing conversation with people they obviously know and like. They definitely need me to entertain them. When a guy comes up and sits down next to me, if I keep reading my book without looking up or turn away, when he starts to talk or say abruptly sorry I'm about to meet my boyfriend can I help you with something, or answer him with one word replies before turning back to my friends or just completely blank him, I'm not interested. To be fair it's mainly older men, 40s 60s who ignore these social cues and try to keep talking anyway. I'm 20, do you really think you have a chance mate? I once had a friend who asked me on a date, and I said yes. While we were on the date he was insanely mean and rude. 
I think he was trying to neg me, but doing it really wrong and just straight up insulting me, so I just decided to tell him to fuck off, and never talk to him again. He still messages me to this day, like 3 years, since the last time I spoke to him. There have been times when we see each other at social gatherings, and despite the fact that I will straight up ignore and walk away from him, he'll still run up to me and try to hug me. If I'm keeping my answers ridiculously short and not asking you anything about yourself to continue the conversation, I'm not interested. If you're moving closer and I'm backing up, take a hint. Dear dude that works next store, please leave me alone. No apparently doesn't work for you. Coming by my shop daily isn't going to change that for you. I'm not playing hard to get, I'm not lying about not being single, and why exactly would I want to date someone who lives in their car? If I put my left hand across my chest, you know the hand that features my wedding ring, and the guy just keeps on with the suggestive comments and shit. What the hell? Usually they back off once they realize another penis can claim me. If I'm wearing headphones on the bus, reading a book, why do guys think that means this woman is reading a book? She's wearing big orange headphones. That means she wants me, a total stranger, to talk to her right fucking now. Hint, it means I want to be fucking left alone on the bus. If I say, thanks for asking, I'm flattered but I can't accept, that's misinterpreted as, keep asking, text every 10 minutes, stalk her on social media, and then harass mutual friends about her. If I'm in the grocery, or at Costco with my kids, that's misinterpreted as, yes please, stranger, I want you to say all kinds of dirty shit, that I will have to explain to my children, right after I explain why one total stranger spoke to their mom like that. And no, I will not chastise my son when he glares at you and tells you you're being rude. In fact, I will probably buy him a churro at the food court as a treat for sticking up for me. If I'm not looking at your face at all and not making any eye contact then I'm not interested asterisk asterisk. I don't know how much more obvious a person can be other than saying I am not interested but of course I'll say that too if I have to. Just don't make it awkward dude, slow down, back off, have a friendly chat, treat me like a human person not a meat person. Possible exception if I'm staring at your junk of course. If a girl actively moves her head away when you try to kiss her, she's not freaking interested. I swear this guy tried to kiss me like 6 times over the course of a night, and I kept moving away, and he just didn't get it. It's funny that guys on reddit constantly ask why women are paranoid slash cautious about men. This is why. You can literally say absolutely not. No. Not ever to a guy and sometimes they still won't leave you alone ug. This is terrible, but I've actually lied to a guy and said I was gay because apparently he couldn't understand why I wouldn't be interested in him. He then went on to essentially quiz me about my homosexuality. He asked stuff like when. Did I know I was gay? How many women have I dated? Etc. Could. Not. Believe. It. If a guy asks if I want to do something sometime, I'm going to blow it off and not push to fulfill them. As I like to say, only to my friends, I've already done something, and I've got plans for some time. Those aren't plans, and I'm not desperate. If I heard, I'd like to get to know you, when can we go out to dinner? Or are you free Friday? I'd like you to come hiking with me those get attention. The guys that don't get a hint, I respond clearly to their requests for my time with a solid no, no excuses or sorries. When guys keep trying after that, he clearly has no respect for me, so it will never happen. I think never hanging out with a guy is a good indicator that you're not interested. I've had a few situations where I could kind of tell a guy liked me and I wasn't interested in dating him but enjoyed being friends. Social media makes it too easy. I would never initiate aim chats or whatever. Wow, I'm dating myself but would always talk if approached. Maybe that gave the wrong impression sometimes. But if I didn't want to actually hook up with a guy, I would always have an excuse if they tried to hang out. It can be tough to say, hey, I'm not interested in you, if someone is simply requesting to hang as friends, because you don't really know they're trying to make it more. It's just a feeling. So I guess, guys, look for someone who is excited about spending time with you. 
Today's instant methods of communication make it really easy to feel superficially connected. Try to see if it goes any deeper than that. Letting the conversation die. I mean, I'm introvert as fuck so sometimes I cut the conversation with a gotta go by, because conversations are bothersome, but I want to continue at a later date. I can carry conversations well, if I want to. Guys tend to mix up things, they think I don't know how to keep convos going. I don't really blame them, though, it just feels awkward rejecting them, before they even made their intentions clear. I wish guys would get a hint more often, however. Well, what can I say? When the topic is focused on something like this now, you often hear a lot of sad and upsetting stories from women that get harassed, and things about men that don't understand or know. It's true, they often don't understand and it's sad. I'm 20 now, never had a relationship, and reading things like this online is honestly just upsetting and unsettling. It's rather scaring me than encouraging me to going out. I mean, all I want, all everyone wants, is to be treated with respect, like a human being. Why can't we all just be nice and respectful to each other, independently of their gender, race or anything? If someone says no, it's no. Just treat people politely and with respect, that's all there is to it. If someone smiles at you, that's human. It's a nice thing to smile at people, and get a smile back, or getting a smile, and give one back. It's by no means an invitation. If you ask a person on the street for directions, the time or otherwise for help, or even just start talking with someone, and the other person replies, that doesn't mean they are interested, and isn't an invitation either. It's just polite to reply. If someone looks at you, and you look back, that's just a normal thing to do. It doesn't mean that someone is interested. We are social creatures and we talk to each other, look at each other, smile at each other, communicate with each other, but that doesn't mean we want to engage with everyone in a romantic, sexual or other relationship. If a straight guy smiles at another straight guy, and he smiles back, does that mean they want to go to bed with each other? No. So why would it be any different if a guy smiles at a girl and she smiles back? That's all I can say to it. I hope this will be helpful in some way. Smiling at a joke instead of laughing. If you smile and look away it should occur to you in some way that maybe they are just trying to be polite. I'm never one to be mean to someone. You don't want to flat out say, don't talk to me, because assuming isn't very fair. I don't mean a big smile, I mean a small smile, that you'd give to any stranger. I think head games are pretty stupid. I don't play coy or hard to get. If I seem really hesitant to go out with you, or I start to look uncomfortable when we are together, it's because I'm really not that into you. I'm aware that there are members of the female sex who do play this sort of stupid game. Best advice I think I can give is that you probably don't want someone who thinks head games are great fun. And whether they're disinterested or playing hard to get you're probably not losing a thing in letting em go. If I reply in brief answers and never initiate discussions or otherwise seek someone out, it means I'm not interested. I feel rude ignoring people completely, so my general tactic is to give polite replies that don't invite further conversation. A lot of guys mistake this for interest because I'm not completely ignoring them. Which sucks, because it leaves me with no choice, but to get more direct about it, which leads to hurt feelings. Even if I'm feeling super shy, if I'm interested, I'll reciprocate the attention someone's giving me. Recently, I was on the train, and heading into school to take a final. I was listening to music, and had my head in my notes. A guy comes over, he looks about 3 to 6 years older than me, I look really young for a 24 year old, and tries talking to me. I take off my headphones and listen because I don't want any trouble. He compliments me and offers to take me out. I don't know him, he doesn't know me. I'm creeped out and don't want to straight up act rude because I had no idea how this guy will react. I politely say I'm really busy with college and I'm not interested in anyone. But no, this guy keeps talking to me. My alarms are going off as he keeps saying how he wants to take me to a movie and get to know me and insisting I have time for him if I try hard. I was still too freaked out to just get up and walk off to another area. A few stops later, I get off to go to school, he gets off too, and I doubled back and took another way off the platform. 
Needless to say, some guys are really crazy and this bothered me the entire day. I felt harassed, and like he was either joking, or seriously a little wrong in the head. Guys, this is my personal view, but don't hit on me on public transit. It's weird as fuck, and I feel alone and unsure of how to get you to leave me the fuck alone without you pulling a weapon, or doing slash saying something. I can be direct, and I try to be. But fellas, if you are honestly interested, and want to give someone your number who you honestly want to talk to, just try not to be weird about. It's not hard to tell if some guy seems honest or straight up questionable. Just don't be pushy, and if she is interested, it'll happen but don't keep pursing a conversation or date proposition if she's putting up walls and is already eyeing escape routes. Body language generally, as I'm shy and scared of conflict. Making myself small and covering myself with my arms and physically distancing myself. Looking down or away, glancing at them only when they move. Creating barriers, egg by holding my book or my phone in front of my face. Verbally, short answers to direct questions only, ignoring uncomfortable or personal questions slash statements. Basic human signaling. Handy tip. If you think of how male humans who don't want to talk act, and then replace that male human with a female human, you can see distinct similarities. 